Good morning and welcome to my hobby table once again. And as you can see on the table today, I've got another engine. Obviously, because that's what I do on this channel for the most part. But I have to just say thank you to all of those viewers and subscribers that have stepped up in the last months, several months anyway, and offered up their own engines uh, as a, on a loan basis for me to add them to the video database here. And this is an example of yet the latest one uh, from a fellow, a really good guy. His name is Don. And he has sent me his Irvine Q72 ABC engine. Now this is an engine I don't know that I'd really ever heard of before Don had mentioned it to it. I'd heard of the Irvine 72, but never really the Q72. And apparently Don had bought this on eBay a few years ago in what according to eBay seller was near new condition. He has never run it or really done anything with this engine yet. So I guess I'm gonna be the first one to run it since he's owned it, which is kind of an honor. Um, this engine is one that's really, really tough to find. I, I'm, I'm just gonna say flat out, I think this is a fairly rare engine because it's very difficult to find any information at all on these. There's not a review article. There's not a whole lot. I, I found only two YouTube videos and they're pretty rough, not super refined, not super good videos. They don't say, RPM information and one only says the prop size so it's just it has been uh, Not real easy to find any good information So I'm honored to be able to actually put this on the channel and hopefully give some better videos So one of the things that uh, Don had said to me about this and I one little bit of information I found was that this engine tends to like it's sort of like the KMB 65 Sportster it's uh, it likes larger props it doesn't like to wind up, wind up a lot, so it likes larger props, lower RPM. So here's the engine. And as soon as I open the box, there's a spare needle valve, which is cool. I, I'm assuming that this came with Don's uh, purchase, which is kind of nice. I mean, it had a needle valve in here, because I've opened this up and looked at it. Uh, let's just look at this exhaust first. Um, I'm looking for, it's been run. Obviously, I can tell that right away. I can tell by smelling the exhaust that this engine has some runtime on it. And here's uh, the exhaust screws. And let me zoom in maybe here a bit here. Maybe not quite that much. It goes out of the light. Uh, here's the stock needle valve. Obviously, this is a direct replacement. But this exhaust, in the, one of the things about this engine is it's very, very quiet. So uh, it looks like this would make it a very quiet engine. Now I don't believe, I think Don said there's really no paperwork in here, but let's always just look on the bottom. You always look everywhere in the box just because you never know where somebody's going to hide something. So here is the engine in all its glory. Now I believe I've seen these with like a gold. Um, well, this one's got what looks like a gold anodized head. I thought I had seen in one of these an image that where it had a red head, but I, I can't say for sure if my memory is correct or not. Uh, again, it looks like it's got one of these composite carbs and only the high speed, low speed, and the throttle barrel or barrel retention screw. Take another quick smell in there. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of carbon on this at all. So it looks pretty much just like a standard two-stroke engine here. You know, I would say it looks very similar to an OS SF series where it's a single piece casting. It doesn't have the, the front detachable front housing. It's got, well, just by my greasy hand and trying to turn this prop o hub over, I can't turn it over. So it's got incredible con compression. Now, one of the things that Don said I could do, if I so desired, is do a look inside. So this video is just a quick look video and literally it's going to be just this, just a quick look because there's really not a whole lot of other information that I know about this engine that I can really share anyway. Uh, it's made in England. It's an Irvine Q72. Um, apparently it likes larger props in the 13 inch diameter range and uh, if uh, go up to 14.6 or so and it starts to drop off in horsepower from what I've read on the one post that I found. 
so it doesn't really seem like it, it seems like it really likes the 13 inch size now the unfortunate thing i just discovered is that the only 13 inch props i really had i found three and that's it two of them are old black composite master air screws and they're 13 sixes and then i've got a newer apc 13 seven and i don't like you know, I think APC and those 13.7s, and you'll see it eventually, I don't have it up here with me, but they start to narrow out the, the tips a lot instead of having this wider blade. And I guess that's for efficiency, prop efficiency. I just don't like the way it looks. But those are the only 13-inch props that I've got in my inventory. I thought I had a couple of wood ones, but apparently I don't. So this has been just a quick look at this Irvine Q72 engine. You will see this on the stand very soon. And I haven't decided yet, since I've already got this all set up and everything here, I may just do the quick look or look inside video right after this. And really all, I'm gonna, all I would do is take the head off and the rear cover off. I mean, and I, honestly, I don't even know what the purpose of that is. I think everybody's seen the inside of a, a two-stroke engine many times. I can tell you by looking at the side of the piston here, there's not a whole lot of carbon buildup on it. So this is a very low runtime engine. So in all honesty, the reason for doing a quick look inside video is just really not there, so I may just pass on that and get this thing on the stand and run it. So this has been a quick look at this Irvine Q72 engine. And thank you very much, Don, for allowing me to feature your engine on this channel.